Thanks for coming to join us for Leo at Home with the Leonardo. I am Miss Rachel, and today I had to do this by myself. So I built my very own Mr. Trent robot. And when I push him on his head, he'll give us a good hello. Hello. <laughs> today we are gonna talk a little bit about coding. And coding, as you probably know by now, is how people create instructions for our computers to follow. We are gonna use block coding today. And you can see some of the blocks that I've created behind me. I'm gonna have my robot, Trent, do a dance with us today. And the way that we are going to do this is you can, if you haven't seen my video yet on working on Scratch, you can go ahead and go back into our feed, take a look at that to get a little more familiar with the kind of concepts that we're using. Come back here to play with us. We have printables that have all of the blocks and instructions so you can make your own dances with us at home. Today, we are gonna make our very own algorithm, which is step-by-step -step instructions that tells the computer exactly what to do. It's really important that my computer can follow these instructions in their exact order, and we call that the sequence. If my sequence makes sense, then my computer will be able to execute all of the instructions that I have given them in the algorithm. Let's take another look at my algorithm and all of the sequence of instructions that I have written up here. It says when snap. That's the first thing that tells my computer when I snap that I want this action to follow. The actions that I have written are as follows. I want my computer to move back two steps. And then I have a repeat sequence and it's almost like parentheses where it tells you exactly what you need to focus on on the inside. What my robot needs to repeat is a hop and then a clap. He has to do that three times. So he will hop, clap, hop, clap, hop, clap. Then after that, I'm asking him to move right two steps, and then I want him to cha-cha. Let's see if it works. Let's see if my sequence is correct, and if my algorithm is complete. Ready? Three, two, one, a snap. Now he's gonna move back two steps. Good, now three times. Hop, clap, hop, clap, hop, clap. Now he moves right two steps, and now he cha-chas. Wait, I'm noticing a problem. In programming, we call that debugging. So I need to figure out why my cha-cha didn't happen. I noticed this block looks a little separated. That tells me that it's not in my sequence. So the computer didn't read it as something that has to happen when I snap. Let me try and add it onto the end of my blocks. Okay, let's see now. All right, he's ready, he's reset. Let's give it a shot. Three. Two, one. Moving back two steps, perfect. And then hop, clap, hop, clap, hop, clap. And then he moves to the right. And then he cha-chas. Yay, perfect, awesome. We correctly debugged that. That's fabulous. All right, thank you, Robot Trent. Can I do it with you this time? Let's do it. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Trent, we did a really awesome job talking about coding and algorithms, and I totally would love to see your dances that you design. Use our scratch blocks that we're gonna post in our comments and go ahead and print them off for yourself. Design your own dances, and then let us see them. Maybe Mr. Robot Trent and I will give it a shot, see if we can do them too. Thanks everyone, have a great Friday.